25,000 people are expected to run the LA Marathon this year, but only one is running with scleroderma, a rare, incurable, and disfiguring autoimmune disease, making each step painful. Well, that one is our next guest. His name is Greg Cohen. He's here to talk about why he's running and talk. We need to learn a little bit more about scleroderma. A lot of folks don't understand even what it is. Hi. Nice to have you here, Greg. Hi, thanks Hi, Greg. for having me. So tell me about the, the, the basics of scleroderma and how you found out that you had it and what it does to you. Uh, so the basics of scleroderma, it basically translates to mean hard skin. It's where it's a connective tissue disease where your extremities for people, hands and feet and face start to tighten. Um, basically collagen, extra collagen is deposited in parts of the body. Uh, for some people it can be extremely life threatening because it can affect their lungs, their kidneys and their heart. For me, um, I started developing issues with my hands. This was probably about five years ago now. Tightness in my hands, I started to develop digital ulcers on my finger. Uh, which are extremely painful. I always tell people, think of it as a canker sore on your finger that doesn't Oof. go away for you know, anywhere from two to five months. Uh, so I went to a doctor. Originally, they diagnosed me with bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome, which didn't make sense to me. Right. Uh, so I went to a rheumatologist. At the time, they were a little hesitant to diagnose me with this, which for a lot of patients, scleroderma is not diagnosed right away. Mm -hmm. Uh, instead, I was diagnosed with, diagnosed with Hashimoto's, a thyroid condition, but my doctor told me, come back in a few months. I waited about a year and a half. Wow. A wow. little stubborn. Uh, I developed an ulcer that wouldn't go away, so I finally went back, and that's when I was diagnosed back in 2017. So knowing that mm -hmm. and having to live with all of that pain, why in the world are you running a marathon? <laughs> Actually, why are you running four marathons? Uh, well, it's interesting. Uh, back, if you would have caught me five years ago, I probably never would have run a marathon. I've always been an athlete. Uh, one of the things my, my original doctor told me about why I, I haven't developed you know, some internal things or just in general why I present very healthy is because of my level of physical activity. Uh, being an athlete, being a personal trainer and a fitness instructor, um, I guess luckily you know, I've been able to keep my body in, in good, good form. So I decided scleroderma is very rare and it's not very known to the public. Uh, I wanted to raise awareness and help raise money for patient support as well as research. And I decided two years ago to run the LA Marathon, which I did and then I decided to do it again last year, and we got a little bit of publicity with the LA Times, and so this year I had this grandiose idea. <laughs> Originally I wanted to do six marathons, and my doctor said no way. Yeah. <laughs> so we settled on four and tried to space them out as best we could so that my body would have good So recovery. let's talk a little bit at the level of fitness and how that helps or, or does improve your, your quality of life. Sure. Uh, what did the doctors tell you about your fitness and how that helps? So I don't think my doctor ever gave me a clear cut reason as to why my fitness does, but one of the things that I've come to, to learn, and I've done a lot of research, I just got my master's in public health too in lifestyle mm -hmm. management, is it helps with mobility especially. The more I'm active, obviously blood flow, et cetera, uh, physical activity promotes good stress in the body. Too much of it, obviously bad, but um, it allows for the flexibility of my joints. Um, don't get me wrong, my joints are probably not as good as your average person that does not have scleroderma, but it allows me to keep flexibility in my extremities especially. Um, and it's just, I think it's also a mindset. I think when you're, you have this positive mindset and you're able to do certain things, it actually helps the body not only necessarily heal, but prevent you know, in my personal opinion, prevent from yeah. deteriorating. All right, so the LA Marathon is your next, is the next run, and that's coming in March. So I'm sure there's people that are watching, they're very going to want to support you in your run. So I'm sure, sure. you're taking donations for your cause. Yeah, for sure. I'm partnering with a company called Project Scleroderma. They are a nonprofit based out in Philadelphia whose whole mission is to raise awareness about scleroderma. So they're actually, uh, they're following me. We're doing a documentary during the, the year long efforts that I'm doing, but I'm also partnering with my doctor at UCLA Health. Um, people can go to my website, it's rungregrun.com, and that's where they can donate, and all of the money's going to her research in gastrointestinal uh, patient issues with uh, patients with scleroderma. Right. Rungregrun.com. Calm. Calm. Yes. And so, and I just one last question. When you're running, do you feel pain or do you feel exhilarated? How do you feel when you're running? It all depends on the day. Huh. I would say when I'm running a long distance, whether it's a training run or a marathon, there's definitely pain. There's tightness in my body. Um, my, you know, whereas people might hit the wall 
at 20 or 21, I'm hitting the wall at 17 or 18, or mm -hmm. even earlier last year in the marathon, I hit it at 13, oh. just because my quads and my knees and my ankles, um, you know, my skin is super tight, so even on my feet, it makes it more challenging, so my flexibility to dorsiflex or plantar flex my feet isn't as great as someone who doesn't have this illness. We appreciate your courage and really all that you're doing for that uh, that, that cause is fantastic. Thank you great. so much. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks best for having me. We'll be yeah. right back.